Good afternoon, one and all. Myself is Kavi Priya, studying 8th grade. Today, I'm going to read three paragraphs from the lesson, A Most Important Person. Finally, Arthur took Mary and Chester home in the car. Miss Lucy toiled upstairs to her nap. When she came downstairs again, she saw the evening paper lying near the fireplace. She opened the paper and there on the first page was a picture of Miss Lucy and Judge Hennessy, society leader at traffic court, it, le it read. The article told a great deal about her family, about her position as the titular head of the local society, and went on about how simple everything would be if people stepped out and paid their fines instead of using their influence. Just then, there was a call from Mr. Henderson, the fa family lawyer. He said that Miss Lucy should have called him. She didn't have to appear in court. It was no trouble at all, said Miss Lucy. She asked after Mr. Henderson and his wife's health. She also agreed to go to the Hendersons to dinner the following Tuesday. It was then that Miss Lucy realized that the problems were always the same. People had the same things to overcome, no matter who they were or where they lived. In the morning, Arthur Mitzi and Miss Lucy gathered around the tree and opened their gifts. Miss Lucy was exceedingly gratified at the little things her old servants had given her. And she was even more gratified at the things she had given them and their pleasure at receiving them. And there, under the tree, was a grimy little package labelled to Miss Queen from her friend Chuck. Miss Lucy opened it with breaming eyes. It was a string of glass beads with a huge brass clasp. Miss Lucy put it on. Thank you.